Once it's gone, it's never coming back? Yeah. Life happens and it is what it is. During their prime, modern women think they will do fine forever, but when they get hit by the decline, the reality check has no mercy. When, as a man, you say this, you might be seen as a bad person or the devil incarnate. But if that was a lie, these women wouldn't even care. That's why men literally, and sorry for sounding misogynistic, man up and fight against their inadequacies, whereas most women prefer blaming external agents. When men become unattractive, fat, and whatnot, they don't generally blame society, their upbringing, or other factors. They just fight against their inadequacies and improve themselves. Some women also take this noble step and fight to maintain their values, but the political correctness movement is so strong that a man who rejects a woman with inadequacies is an evil person. Plus, if a man prefers women with less baggage, he's an even worse person. So I did an experiment just to prove that everyone is pussy. I got fat to 250 plus pounds, and then I lost the weight systematically six, seven months by controlling my calories and not being a pussy about it. It's a choice. That's what I'm saying. You chose to be fat. Were you born that way? That's irrelevant. Did you have an opportunity to have that decision? Because I, ne I never had that decision. If you're fat, you made a conscious decision to overeat. You are in control of every single morsel of food that goes into your mouth. So we can't sit here and be like, no, they have a body thing because of their thyroid or slow metabolism or body type, none of this shit exists anywhere except for the United States. In today's video guys, we're talking about women who suffered during their decline after having quote unquote fun, why men are told to accept whatever type of woman comes through and much more. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to just some guy once again. He said, women will always need men in one way or another. Isn't that the truth? And sadly, some men have yet to or may never come to this realization, and they allow women to reap the benefits of their natural masculine energy, and that is never the way to go. Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. And as usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too as it helps a lot. And now, back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. That chick from the previous clips pretty much justified a woman's inadequacies. She said she never had that decision, probably meaning she never decided to put on some weight. Good for her, though, and honestly she's very attractive, but at the same time, has a very biased view of the world. And well, who knows if she's attractive without makeup? But let's put that aside. Anyway, she's an example of someone who justifies a woman's situation, but she will hardly make any advancements with a man who doesn't tick all her boxes. As much as we can criticize women for having crazy standards, men also have the right and obligation to be picky as as well. Movements like body positivity and ideologies like relativism are destroying modern society. And if you don't believe me, just take a look at how these chicks go online, show their bodies, seek male validation, and still complain about how men objectify them. If a man walks around the ghetto with a thousand dollar watch and gets robbed though, it's just his fault and he has to deal with his poor decision. The clown world we live in today gives men nothing but good reasons to go solo or abroad because it's not okay to play by these stupid rules. Ticking all the boxes just to get disrespected or ghosted is disappointing, and the rise of passport bros, MGTOW, monk mode, and other communities is proof of that. The funny thing is that men are not as demanding as women. Namely, while women want triple six guys, nice guys, and whatever set of requisites, men want supportive, modest, non-combative women who will be an asset and not a liability. Let's say me and you are walking down the street and some guy robs your purse and runs away. And he punches you in the process. And I just stand there looking at what's going on. And then you have to scream at me to say, go get him. And then I think about it and then I go get him. What's more attractive? You screaming at me to go do my job or I just react and punch him and get your bag back for you. If you're a man, you're gonna do it regardless. Thank you. If you're a lady, you're gonna shut up regardless. Ooh. <laughs> That's the point. Gotcha. 
This illustrates perfectly that women still want traditional men without being traditional themselves. They try to know themselves more by going from bad relationship to another bad relationship right until it's time to settle down and look for a nice guy. Translation, they look for providers who could give them emotional and financial stability. A woman like that is not looking for a husband, but rather for help. And if they say they want to take things slow and get married, don't get it twisted because oftentimes they want the status of married women, but don't want to be wives. Note the crucial difference. I think uh, women don't mature until they stop getting sexual attention. What did you just say? Say that about? again, bro. I mean, it. I said women don't mature until they stop getting sexual attention from the opposite gender. Why do you believe Mormon that? Mormon don't mature. I'll back up why I said that. Okay. The reason why I said that is because when girls are getting pursued by men mm -hmm. and getting options and guys hitting up on Instagram, dating apps, whatever, the world is their oyster. It's awesome. I got a bunch of guys pursuing me. I get the fan I get the privilege of being kind of in a delusional fantasy world where I think I deserve a man that's a millionaire, six foot plus, etc. Because I've dated a few. Maybe I hooked up with one here. Maybe I kissed one here. I think I'm, I deserve this caliber of man, right? And typically, it's not until they get older and their options dry up from the opposite gender that reality smacks them and they say, whoa, I should probably find a family now. I should probably go ahead and find a guy. And I maybe this career thing wasn't, wasn't it. And I need to chase a family because it's going to give me the real fulfillment that I want. When traditional and or conscious men say, if she wasted her prime, don't take her during her decline. It's not just because it's a good sounding rhyme, none of that. You probably have attained so much in terms of fitness and finances that you don't accept any breadcrumbs. Let's think of an even better example. Imagine you're LeBron James, aka one of the goats of the NBA, <laughs> no arguments with that, come on now. And after making millions as a basketball player and improving your skill set year after year, there comes a team paying you just 100k a year. Although many athletes and average Joes would be okay with that. You're not. The same principle applies to relationships. High value men often want a high value woman, aka a fit, feminine, friendly woman with low or no body count. Somebody comes in for a job interview, and in the last five years they've had 20 jobs. How do you look at them? It's a problem. It's a problem. Somebody That's comes wrong. to a job interview, and they're 32 years old, and from 22 till 32, they've worked at two companies. How do you look at them? Yeah, positive. Positive. I sit there and I say, wow. The same exact way we don't like to see people with too many jobs on their resume, we don't like to see too many boyfriends and body count on the resume. The job market analogy is indeed fantastic. Although modern women think men ain't shit and all they want is intimacy from women, many men are still monogamous, loyal, and committed. However, once they tried to be one woman kind of guys, they got played because the woman at hand enjoyed plenty of options. Therefore, if a guy looked more exciting at that particular moment, the loyal man just got dumped. If you've been in this world long enough, you're probably familiar with the cheesy self-development quote that goes something like this. If they treat you like an option, don't treat them as a priority. Or something along those lines. Anyway, what matters is the underlying message. A nice guy with his fitness, finances, and even seduction skills, you know, his game on point, can still be on the back burner despite ticking multiple boxes. However, Chad and Tyrone seem more exciting than a quote-unquote hard-working man who dreams of building a beautiful family. Although that's a noble and lovely goal, it's way more practical as a man to mind your own business and not look for wives where wives are the rarest of species. If you have already made up your mind and told yourself that post-wall women are not the type to date or marriage slash dating material, let me tell you something. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. As much as men are told that having standards is a form of discrimination, while women can pull out kilometric lists of requirements as if they were applying for a job, here's the thing. Your time, money, resources, and overall life as a man belongs to you. And if you're already putting yourself first, you have made a fantastic decision. The red pill might be bitter, but the fruits of embracing the truth about dating and relationships are sweet and honestly, way healthier than eating breadcrumbs. Let that sink in. Stay strong, guys. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now, it's your turn. What do you think? Will the age of commitment ever come back? Have you ever been told you are bad for having standards? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video guys, till next time.